Hey. So, I shot a video a little bit ago in in place of the Halloween video I was going to shoot because I couldn't find the item that I needed. It turns out I have the item at my house already and just didn't know it. So, that's great. Now I just got to wait to have the house to myself. But if I don't get the house to myself before Halloween, I'm just going to do it and, you know, hope not to get interrupted. So we'll see how that all works out. But speaking of the previous video, I shot it down here, same place I always shoot my videos. And it was a little lengthy, probably about an hour, maybe 40 minutes once it's cut up. But uh, it, was, it was a lengthier video. So I wasn't too eager to, to render that out and edit it. So I, yeah, well, um, the main reason I'm not going to post it, I'm going to archive it with, uh, another video I made that I don't think I'm ready to put on the internet yet. <laughs> I said some, uh, completely true, um, factual or, uh, opin opinion based things about the, uh, server I play and my one neighbor and I talked a little bit in depth about more personal details so I think I'm just gonna throw that in the uh, in the folder of stuff that I'm not I'm not gonna incriminate incriminate myself with or you know my, my lawyer told me it'd probably be my best interest not to not to post but nah out of all seriousness I just think it's, you know, it's it just a little too much emotion, a little too much opinion, not enough facts, not enough solid anything to work upon, so I think it's just probably better to just not, because I mean, even if I had proof of either of my my major grief and grievances, it's not like I could do anything about it, but... Anyways, so we're going to give like the, the short trimmed down version. Um, I found the item I needed for the next video. And in the, in the video I shot, I kind of talked about various future plans per se, future video ideas. And I'm kind of just going to rattle through a little bit of it. Uh, the car battery thing, that's pretty much all shot. Like, even if I could, the, the lead acid... The acid I got from the lead acid batteries, if there's even any there, which, I mean, there definitely is acid there, because, like, it did the whole bubbling with a car, uh, bicarbonate soda, so, I mean, it's definitely acidic, but, there, I mean, there's probably, uh, even with me boiling it down so much, it's probably still at least 20% water, and there's gonna be impurities like lead sulfate, so... I mean, is it lead sulfate? Lead sulfite? Yeah, uh, it, it's a uh, some sort of lead sulfur oxygen molecule that forms uh, with lead and sulfuric acid. Uh, not very useful. Um, but anyways, that's besides the point. So anything I had planned with the acid is pretty much shot. Um, I do still have the lead. But I got rid of my uh, foundry because I left it outside, covered with a tarp. But uh, the weather took its toll on it, and it got pretty rusty, and I didn't feel like trying to fix it. Um, plus, I'm running out of plaster, and I'm running out of money. So, like, to keep repairing it, it's just getting, be, getting to be more of a pain. I had my experience... I got to show off a little bit, got to do a couple of things, learned a thing or two. So, you know, and close that chapter until I get a better, a better working environment, I suppose. Uh, any plans I had with fishing? That's pretty much shot. Summer's basically over. I didn't catch a single fish the three times I went. And it's not that I don't like fishing. Actually, I greatly enjoy fishing. It's peaceful. But, uh, the, this area isn't great. 
like for for anything like but fishing in particular like unless you have a car you can go out a, like an hour or so it's not great and i do not have a car and i don't have any friends left so you know i'm pretty much stuck to walking anywhere i want to go and walking out uh from where the dam is is a giant pain um I don't consider myself to be in bad shape, but I, it's like military training, kind of, kind of walking to get up out of that hill, and I can do it, I have done it, but I know in the back of my mind that it's a, it's a low, a light, a light form of self-torture, so I, I, I try to avoid it. Um... What else is there? I do intend to make another soap video. I want to do something. I bought a uh, orange uh, essential oils, and I want to do something with the orange pills and the citricness of it. Um, so that's something I want to get into. Uh, the rind of the orange could be used as an exfoliant, so I'm told. So that, that's going to be something I want to get into. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do that, but seeing that I have past experience and I know what I'm doing, it's nothing that's going to be too difficult. So I can, you know, I can pretty much do that at any time at all, in theory. Uh, what else was there? What else was there? Hmm. This is the problem with not having a script or somebody telling me what to say at certain times. I don't, I lose my train of thought. Or my train of thought comes to an abrupt stop. Uh, the new video, it will be out before Halloween, uh, one way or another. I had another story about my aunt, my grandmother, and I had a story about recently. But I think I'm going to skip them, because that's just going to chart back into the territory of me not wanting to post the video because of more personal details and it's more of complaining than than shedding knowledge well but then again then again some other people might find themselves in this situation so maybe it would be shedding some knowledge but yeah i don't know uh as some of you guys know i'll tell the story i don't know what what else to say so might as well so some people might know, if they follow my channel closely enough, and they pay attention, that I've been on probation for about five years. I'll be off probation in about, I think, about a year. So, I don't really keep track of it. I think it's a bunch of BS. It's adult, adult babysitting. I mean, I am not entirely sure of the details. I know you're probably thinking it was your life, your case, what happened. But I can't fully explain that, because I don't really completely know. I'm not playing the amnesia card. I'm playing the... I'm playing the... It was really freaking confusing how everything happened. And none of it really makes sense card. So I can't really explain it to you, because I really don't understand it. Um, I think, in a nutshell... I was pretty much framed, but, or wrong place, wrong time, however you want to put it. Uh, either way, either way, that's not what this is about, and I don't want to get too into it. Um, I think my, my other rant video that I don't have on the internet gets into a little bit more specifics. Maybe I'll post it someday. I'm not really ashamed of it, because like I said, my system the system screwed me. I didn't... I didn't screw it. I didn't screw... <laughs> I didn't screw up my life. I didn't screw up... Not really. I mean, I've done some bad things, but a lot of the bad things I've done are just things all people do at some point. You know, better or worse. So, I mean, I didn't really do anything so horrible that I deserved to have my life ruined. But, apparently somebody else sees it that way. So, anyways, we're in the car. And we're going grocery shopping, because that's what we do. 
uh, grocery shop and cut the grass. It's pretty much my, pretty much my, my uh, enjoyment besides this walking stuff <coughs> and video games. But um, we're going to get groceries. And my aunt's like, why don't you drive? I'm like, I had my permit for three years. Every time I tried to get my license, something always stopped me. Whether nobody had a car I could use that could pass inspection, I didn't have my own car, or when I actually had my permit, nobody would help me. And everybody, the, the thing that really irritated me, that got me to the emotional state, was she said, oh, your uncle said he'd help you. Your uncle said he'd help you. I'm like, yeah, after my permit expired. So thank him. You know, thank him. <laughs> I mean... They're like, oh, we were there for you. We were there for you. We could have helped you. Yeah. All at the wrong time. All at the wrong time. Every time. Three years. Three years I had my permit. Off and on, of course. Because it takes, like, X amount of time. Or they last for X amount of time, and then you have to retake them. But it was at least three years that I had my permit. Every time, nobody could help. As soon as I lose my permit, all of a sudden, all these people were there to help me. All these people were there to help me. God, does that make me angry. <laughs> so, at this point, I'm already a little bit agitated. Because they, they're acting like it's my fault. They're like, you didn't put enough effort in. I'm like, I had my permit for three years, and I drive better than you. So, yeah, you know what? You, you can go to hell, because I put in plenty of effort. Uh, so at this point, I'm already chomping at the bit to kind of just, like, flip out. You know, I'm stuck in a car with... I'm not saying they're really bad people, but they, they, tend, to, they tend to know how to get on my nerves. So, so I'm, already, I'm already anticipating that, so I'm already in a bit of a bad mood because I already know what's going to happen. Then they bring up that garbage, and I'm like, okay, I can shake it off, you know? People talk crap about me all the time. I get used to it. People will try to push my buttons and irritate me 24 hours a day. Well, no, I get to sleep sometimes. But people try to irritate me a lot. So, you know, I just get used to it. I can bury it, ignore it, let them have their moment. But then, then they say, well, it's almost a year and you'll be off probation and you can leave. You can go do whatever you want. And that was it. That just pushed me over the edge. Because I'm like, I have no money. I have next to no money. I have next to no friends. I have no vehicle. I'm not in bad physical shape. But I'm not in great enough shape to just grab a bag and leave. Where am I going to go? You know, it was just so annoying. It was so annoying. Because they're acting like, oh, the world is my oyster once I'm off probation. I should have never been on probation. I should have never had my life ruined. I should have a job. I should be working on a family. You know, I, well, I say that because it's like the American dream, but to be completely honest, I wouldn't want kids. I, like I told other people, I would, I would adopt, but I wouldn't force a child to live this life. You know, I wouldn't pull, pull a soul from the ether to have it bestow a body and walk amongst this physical realm of sadness and depression, but, but, you know, you get my point, so, I, that, that was like my, my tipping point, my boiling point, I didn't have breakfast, I didn't sleep well, and they're acting like I have everything at my fingertips because I'm, I'm under the age of 30, and, you know, my probation's gonna be up, like, screw you, screw you, you know, like, my probation's gonna be up. Who had the right to put me on probation in the first place? The freaking adult babysitter. Because somebody said something they shouldn't have said. Did something they shouldn't have did. Freaking disgusting. <laughs> but that's basically the story. Hope you guys liked it. <laughs> That's one of the few times you'll probably see any true emotion out of me. It just enrages me. Because I'm like... Like, where am I gonna go? 
I mean, I have I have a bag packed. I always keep a bag packed, just in case. Never know when somebody's going to decide to try to ruin your life even further. So I keep I keep a bag packed. And if it ever came down to it, I think I'd manage. But there's there's no reasonable way out. Like, are you kidding me? In my predicament, there is no reasonable exit. <coughs> well, um, I did want to... There was another part of the video that I wanted to touch upon. That just kind of... I kind of remembered. Um, as I go down this hill here, and I come across that giant pile of uh, stuff they moved by that dumpster. It's kind of far away yet. I'm probably not going to show you guys. But in the last video, before it got dark, I uh, picked out a uh, piece of piping. I thought that was a snake, but it's a piece of wire. I picked out a piece of, like, uh, ceramic, <clears throat> excuse me, ceramic piping or tubing or something. And I want to use it to kind of keep my cactus together. I, I don't know if I showed you guys the cactus yet, but I figured I'll end this video and I'll put a clip at the end of the finished product, maybe. Or I'll put a clip at the end when I actually do it. <laughs> because, I mean, I'll probably do it after I cut the grass again. Because I'll be able to work around things a little bit clearer. Be able to see what I'm doing. Right now, the grass isn't crazy high. But by the time I get back tonight, it's probably going to start getting dark. So, I'm probably going to carry it back. It weighs about, I don't know, 20 pounds. So, it'll be a bit of a pain, but as long as my backpack can hold up, it should be fine. Uh, yeah, I'll probably leave that as a as a bit of a lame cliffhanger. You guys will have to just see it when it's done. I'll probably show off a couple other things, too, to make the, make the end of the video a little bit better. And I'm going to end this here. I'll have this up probably tonight. Uh, I intended to do something tomorrow you know, throw off the schedule, because tomorrow I usually catch a thousand Pokemon, but I was going to just do something else, because it's not all that important to me anymore. And I got pretty much everything I wanted, and it's getting more down to... It's getting more to the point of trying to find something to do rather than just enjoying the game. And I'm getting more and more itchy to go back to, uh, to RuneScape, but I want to do a locked account or some sort of weird account. I don't want to do just regular gameplay. But everything's been done, and I don't have enough knowledge about the game. So I don't know. Oh, maybe I'll come up with something. <coughs> All right. Before my battery dies, because I never charged it from the last outing, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy my, my mini rant. And uh, catch you next time.